Hello everyone, I'm Gabriel Franco, CEO and co-founder of Cassandra, and today we're announcing the integration of Meridian into our soft marketing mix modeling software. Now, Meridian is an open source marketing mix modeling library developed by the Google's marketing science. It allows, compared to previous models, which were mostly evolutionary or so frequentists, it allows us to natively account for probability, therefore risk when assessing and building a marketing mix model and assessing and estimating through ROI, through incremental ROI. Now, this library represents a lot of step forwards in terms of new features inside of a marketing mix model. For example, it allows us to integrate Google query volumes to better estimate the incremental impact of Google search campaigns versus baseline. It allows us to integrate also rich and frequency data on advertising platforms in order to estimate diminishing returns curve with more robust and less uncertainty. Also, it allows us to run multi-geo hierarchical models, which means that if you have a brand that has multiple markets, you can train multiple markets in one take with one click. And not only that, it allows us to estimate better the ROI of every channels because it has more records for reach date in order to estimate the specific incremental ROI that a channel has. Now, Obviously, these innovations do not come without cost compared to previous models like Robin. They require a lot more data, a lot more sophistication, a lot more technical expertise. Bayesian modeling is super cool in terms of outputs, but it's really, really hard in order to achieve the objective. So since the release of Meridian, we've been focusing and obsessing on how to make the modeling experience and the interpretation of the insight extremely, extremely easy but maintaining the sophistication. So the user doesn't have to interpret the insights, he just has to understand and know and see and read what to do next in order to improve it. So the way we do it, I want to just show it to be really, really practical. So we add a model, select Meridian, and then upload the data. I'm going to use GeoMediaRef, which is a multi-geo data set with rich and frequency data. Let's call it Meridian. We select the country and we fill this form. But the cool thing about here is we can add the column geo as a variable. Now we selected the media. There is competitor score, activity control, and sentiment score, which are the two control variables we want to account for. And also we want to unreach and frequency data that we have for channel three, reach frequency. Now this channel is going to be estimated with lower uncertainty compared to other channels because we add these variables. So we move, move forward. Now here we need, this is the exploration analysis. We use it in order to understand whether it is too much multicollinearity or there are things that we need to choose and aggregate and variables to aggregate based on the data we, that we put it. In this case, we check whether there is enough spend shared in order to detect the statistical significant lift. Now there is no problem on this data. So we move forward and we go into the calibration phase. This is probably one of the greatest innovation integration of, of Cassandra about Meridian because Meridian by default being a Bayesian model requires prior settings for every parameters, specifically ROI parameters. Usually you do that, you would have run incrementality tests on all channels in order to start the training of a specific model. But this is a really rare case that almost never happens because you might have one or two channels that you want to calibrate that you have calibrated or run incrementality passed on in the past, but you don't have all of them. This is why we integrated this specific part of Cassandra that allows you to train a model without having all the incrementality tests done in the past. You select the idea and the strategic vision of how much is the contribution of total media coming from media and how confident you are about it. So if you are, let's say 53% of total revenue comes from media, and you are 74%, which means that you input the freedom of 4 million above, 4 million below around that number. If we want, we can add additional calibration. So channel one has million incremental contribution. And we are actually 90% sure because we reached statistical significance. We added as a calibration feature. Obviously we're inputting at 27 ROI in this case. We have only one calibration and one channel that we, we can calibrate because we only have that. So we complete the setup and now we train the model. It's just a matter of one click. The training has started. I want to show you the results and how they look like. 
when you run a multi-geo model, you can have an aggregated view and you can see at a regional level how they performed, both in accuracy, average error, and business error. Okay? So for every region, you will have the accuracy metrics, error metrics, etc., and you will have the calibration error, and you're going to have a suggestions on the model stability, with the model stability. There might be cases in which there is a really good accuracy rate and low average error, but the model is not stable. We estimate it because every time we train a Meridian model, we train it four times with different rolling window. Every time we train a model, we compare the estimation fold by fold. And when these estimations do not match, there is a lot of variance. We detect that there is no stability and the model needs to be calibrated with better priors. Now, the priors in this case are incrementally test result. And we automatically detect and understand what are the channels that need to be calibrated and how they need to calibrate it based on a list of factors that we input from your data. So in this case, either are 15 channels that have been analyzed, 12 are unstable, and we automatically suggest for digital display to calibrate it running a geo-incrementality test. For Google Ads Performance Max, we suggest to run a conversion lift. So we automatically detect the quickest path that you can go with in order to calibrate your model in the best way possible. Now, when we estimated and assessed if the model is correct, we can actually detect and understand and read the insights one by one. We estimate what's the incremental ROI for each channel, incremental marginal ROI for each channel in order to understand whether we have the highest opportunity of investing more and where you're probably over-investing. In this case, you're in this case in LinkedIn, you're over-investing, you're over-investing in Meta. Now, you can detect and see how much each factor contributed. You can see it split by over time and you can even filter it. Let's say we don't want the aggregated view, you want just to see how East performed. You can just see it and filter it by it and automatically unlocks it. Every channel is, if you go to channel discovery, you can actually see the diminishing returns curve, the A and the other stock effects for each channel uh, and for each region. So you can actually understand how the ROI changed over time, how much the diminishing returns curve is, it is in each region and what's the effect over time when you add stock effect. Obviously, this is all. We want to add new things. Specifically, we're working into an AI system that can read and interpret the insights and explain them in natural language for you. It's going to be ready in a few months. And one thing that we're close to releasing is the budget allocator for multi-geo. Specifically, you detect and instill the budget that you want to invest at a strategic level. It automatically distributes it into multiple regions that you have in your market mix model and among and distributes not only through regions, but also through channels to increase the response. Now, if you want to see how it works, you can either start a free trial. We're going to unlock the model into the free trial, or you can book a call and we can start a free trial together to see how we can help you improve your measurement and improve the response that your advertising dollars generate for your company. Thank you a lot for being with me in this video. I'm looking forward to see you in a whole. Bye.